Kenwood was a student giant in the public league. Uh, good school, good environment, great administration. So I, I just knew with, with the right head coach, the right person to go, you know, uh, roll his leaves up and come in and grind, I knew opportunity would be a good opportunity to come in and compete at a high level. You come from an incredible coach's treatment in the state of Illinois. You were an assistant under Washington's Ron Ashcroft. Um, you were an assistant under Washington's Ron Ashcroft. And Simeon's Robert Smith, respectively, prior to becoming a head coach at the University of How did you experience as an assistant under those two illustrious coaches, help you get prepared for the seat that you sit in today? Well, the one thing it taught me how to be humble, to be appreciative, to uh, be a sponge. I always want to learn. Coach Ashlaw uh, went down state that, that year, went down state that year. And uh, Jamie Richmond was an all American kid, so I tend to be around that type of kid. They go in Simeon with, with Jabari Parker, Kendrick Nunn, Kendall Park, all high majors, they're going prospect. So I, I brought my experience. Just able to compete and have the guy understand about uh, next level mindset. I call it next level mindset. Uh, Division one, compete every day in practice, skill set. So it prepared me to just come in, understand that I already done with high major kids. If I get kids to buy in, I can kind of give them my hard beat and we go forward. In the practices, I've had the chance to watch your players appear to be heavily tuned into the details and the philosophy that we should stress out on the floor. What makes you able to connect with your players so effectively and get them to buy into the principles that you teach? I think, I think the first thing is, is trust and uh, love. You know, I, I, love, I love all my kids. I appreciate my kids. I tell them all the time it's about you guys, not about me. So my job as a mentor, father figure, head coach, is to always instill love and, and trust in my kids. Since taking over the reins, you guided the Broncos to two out of the last three Red Central Conference titles with a 56 and 18 record in the process. What would you say has made your program at Kenwood become such a premier option for up and coming young players to attend here in Chicago? Well, first of all, it's a great academic school. You got great Mr. Tucker Jones, it's a great principal. Uh, you got great staff, you got diversity, you got high park. So it's a good environment to, to, to live in as well as go to school in. So I think any young kid out there, man, it's a great environment to come learn, diversity. It's the real world here at Kenwood, and I think it's an opportunity to, to grow and mature as a student athlete. While at Simeon, as you mentioned earlier, you had the pleasure of helping lead your boys basketball team the four straight class four state championships, in addition to a city title around this time five years ago. What would leading Kenwood to this first ever city or state championship in basketball this season mean to you and the entire program? I mean, it would mean the world to me. It would mean uh, the world to, to the city, to, to, to the uh, neighborhood, to the administration, to the faculty. But I just think that the main thing is having these guys tend to get better, to improve. You know, it doesn't mean about the win or loss. This, the, the main thing my job is to do is to improve every day. How the guys compete every day in practice, get better every day in practice, and just fall where they may. But the main thing is to compete every day and get better every day. Thank you so much for your time. No problem. Thank you guys.